right, everybody, it's that time of the week again. It's two for Tuesday. We got to thank Tom over at Knife Delights for uh, starting this open tag. So be sure you go over and sub to his channel and leave him a comment and tell him Big J sent you. But more than likely, if you're subbed to me, you're probably already subbed to him. But today, guys, um, what we got is something that's got me kind of outside of my comfort zone here. Um, someone made a comment not too long ago, of like, hey, maybe try showing some uh, Victorinoxes on your channel. Well, I don't know anything about them is the problem. Don't have a clue. Uh, I just know that uh, mostly they're named by metric standard. Uh, you know, they're this many millimeter, that many millimeter. I, I don't know much about them. I'm going to be honest with you. I uh, found this tinker. Because my buddy Kevin over at Boston Blade Reviews is big into these. And he got him one. So I went on Walmart.com and found this Tinker right here. On sale for like $16.50. It got delivered to my door for under $18. Bucks. Um, now I'm, I'm just finding the box here. And here's the box. It's the Tinker Red. There's the box and the paperwork's inside of it and whatnot. And a couple of days later I was on Amazon and I found a hiker and it was twenty one dollars and I think fifty cents so I think I got this for like twenty three I, I don't know twenty three twenty four I, I honestly don't know because I got some replacement toothpicks for my SD classic that I carry on my keychain and uh, this these clips now when I was talking about getting these with Pete over at Jersey Knife Cut he's like Jay you gotta get you gotta get one of these clips and I used this today. I carried it all day long. It's Saturday, so I went shopping. I went to the gym. Uh, just did some things here and there. I didn't get to really use this, though, but carrying it like that in your pocket does keep it straight up and down. So it is a great addition to keep this thing from riding sideways down in your pocket. Um, now, I went on the website, did some research. Now, both of these are 3.6 inches long, so these are the same metric millimeter. I, I forget, you know, what they are in metric. Now, it says both of them are one inches wide, but uh, clearly this hiker is more than one inch wide. And uh, the Tinker's 2.2 ounces, the Hiker's 2.7 ounces. Uh, that is right off Victorinox's website. Now, as far as the Tinker goes, um, you know, you got your main blade here. You've got, you know, your flathead with your bottle opener and your wire stripper. And then over here, you've got, you know, your your smaller screwdriver that could also do Phillips can opener. May I? I don't know. Let's see what it says. Can opener. So it's probably a can opener. Now over here, you got your smaller blade, and then on the back, you've got your screwdriver, your Phillips, of course. And then you got this all. Now this all to get the all out, we need to we need to close that and see how we get it. All oh, right, there we go. There we go. Then you got your all. So let's try to open these back up and that. Uh, so there, there, there's kind of what that one looks like. With all the tools open. Now the only difference between, and of course you know you got your your toothpick and your, your tweezers here. Now the only difference between that and the hiker, they're exactly the same except this hiker has wood saw. That is the only difference in these two these two blades. Um Again, I knew that when I bought them because I did a little bit of research before I opened them. So the Tinker has 12 tools in all. It's got a toothpick, a can opener, 3 millimeter screwdriver, tweezers, bottle opener, 6 millimeter screwdriver, wire stripper, um, a reamer, punch, sewing all, key ring, large blade, Phillips, um, half inch screwdriver, or hat one half screwdriver I don't I don't know and then a small blade and again the hiker has all that plus the saw so the hikers got 13 tools and all in a that saw is <laughs> you put your fingers on that and it's it's gonna chew you up if you get through some wood and hit your hand with that you're gonna you're gonna chew some meat off the bone 
Um, now, I haven't even tested how sharp these are, honestly. Um, I do like the action on everything. Everything does seem very tight, which is good. So what I want to do is, uh, you guys know I like to put a big J edge on things. I haven't even touched these blade-wise. So let's just... Oh. I mean... It's pretty sharp. I'm not gonna lie, it's not Spyderco or Buck sharp, but it is working at sharp, and if you just drop that a little bit, it would probably even get a little bit... You'd get a little more sharpness out of that if you just, uh... Touch her up on the strop a little bit. Now, let's also pull out the small blade. Hey, there's a small blade. My wife's yelling at the dogs. So, now the small blade, yeah. It it definitely needs some touching up. I mean it it's a good working edge. If you want it fine. I would actually hit that with a little with a fine Arkansas stone. And then strop it and it would it would be jammed up and jelly tight if you just did those two things with that blade right there. Let's check the hiker out. Let's see uh let's see what it's all about. Blade wise. I don't like I said again, I didn't mess with these much at all. I just got these last night in the mail and I was on the phone with our buddy Terry's Knives and Man stuff a lot last night and doing some other things and making videos. So again, this one ain't bad either. Um, yeah, it definitely needs, like I said, an Ar hit it with an Arkansas stone and then strop it and that one would be good as well. Let's try the small blade on the hiker here real quick. Yeah, you, feel, you can hear that. It's just gritty. So in all in all, not bad coming from a factory. Um, again, it's not anything comparable to a Buck or a Spyderco. Those are probably the two sharpest blades you get from a factory. Well, out of what I've got, you know. Out of the things I purchase, and I'm mostly a case, traditional USA style guy. guy but um, what I'm doing is I'm focusing my buying on stuff that I collect and stuff like that or stuff I want to try out because me and Kevin I've been getting these constantly like I get these at flea markets and one I just give them away I don't use them I don't even mess with them um I honestly just ship them to him uh, for his collection but I thought you know maybe I should try carrying one just to see what it's like you know I'm a knife guy I'm a knife nut and all in all in between these two blades right here I got $40 in this stuff. Well, actually with this, $45. So I got $45 in these two blades. And you know what? I'll probably just give this away. I mean, I don't know how much I'm actually going to go out and use a saw. <laughs> probably, probably never, honestly. So I probably I might just, you know, I got the box for it and everything. I may just make this part of a giveaway or something. You know, why not? Why not, fellas? Why not? And of course, you know your tang stamp on these. Victorinox, Swiss made stainless on that side. Officer Swiss on that side. I guess it says Officer Swiss. Same thing on this one. Same thing. So, two good blades, two good tools. Um, again, a on the website, it does say these are both an inch thick. That's a lie. <laughs> I, I don't know uh, exactly how thick it is, but this ain't no inch thick. That ain't, that ain't no inch thick. So, I don't know. Maybe it's a, a different kind of terminology on their website. I, I don't know. Again, I just wrote down what was on there. All right, guys. This is my two for Tuesday again. Go sub to Tom over at Knife Delights. Uh, tell him Big J sent you. And while you're at it, subscribe to his second channel, History Delights. He's got a lot of good content on that as well. Um, so, yeah, hey, like, subscribe. Leave me a comment, everybody.